So how much do we differ? Well, identical twins differ, have no differences at the nucleotide level. If we compare unrelated humans, we differ at about one out of a thousand nucleotide sites. And if we compare humans to our closest genetic relative, the chimpanzee, we differ at about one out of a hundred sites. So as a whole, our species is very similar, and that simply reflects our recent common ancestry from Africa within the past hundred thousand years. But when you consider that there are over three billion DNA bases in the genome, that results in three million differences between each pair of genomes, more than enough to generate the diversity um, that will make each of us unique. Now I want to introduce a statistic that we typically use to look at how much variation there is among populations. And this is referred to as an FST statistic. And it's simply looking at the proportion of genetic variation that is within populations relative to that which is between populations. FST can be measured based on um, heterozygosity. And heterozygosity is simply a measure of genetic variation, which is very simply calculated as one minus the sum of the allele frequencies squared. And so once we calculate um, the heterozygosity for each locus, we can look at the average, and we can look at the average within a subpopulation or in the total combined population. Now, just as an example, if we were to see here that um, in the case of FST equals one, it means that there is no overlap at all in the allele frequency. So we can see that in population one, they have all A's, and in population two, they have all B's. And in the case of FST equals zero, um, there is a complete similarity. So here we see exactly the same number of A alleles and exactly the same number of B alleles. And then here's an intermediate case where we have a value of about 11.11, 11%, showing that um, there's just a small amount of differentiation between these two populations. So what do we see in humans? Well, the average FST between human populations is about 15 percent. And what that means is that the majority of genetic variation is, is found within a population, and only about 15 percent of the genetic diversity differs between populations. Again, this is reflecting our recent common ancestry in Africa within the past 50 to 100,000 years. Now, interestingly, if we were to do this calculation for chimpanzee populations, we see that the value is around 32 percent. So there's actually a lot more differentiation among chimpanzee populations than among human populations, again, reflecting our overall close genetic similarity to each other.